Ben bir daha demek istiyorum ki biz 20 yıl arzında. I want to say again that we have been moving towards this day for 20 years. Preparations were underway. Azerbaijan's position at the level of international law was being strengthened as a result of our successful activity at the political level. The whole world already began to realize that we are the right side. The reforms we carried out in the economic field allowed us the opportunity to build an independent economy, not to depend on anyone, and to build our own life. Strong political resolve made it possible to conduct an independent foreign policy, pursue a domestic policy, and not allow anyone to interfere in our own affairs. However, there have been many such attempts in history. We have protected our state, our national dignity, our way of life, and our traditions, so that no one can interfere in our affairs. Of course, army building was considered the top priority. Material and technical provision, the supply of weapons and ammunition, the improvement of the army's fighting capacity, and, above all, the education of our youth in the spirit of patriotism, these are the main factors leading Azerbaijan to victory. No matter how many weapons and ammunition you may have, no matter how many modern military technologies you may use, it is soldiers and officers who achieve victory with their weapons. They put their chest forward. They are ready to die. And we have shown that, in the most difficult and unfavorable geographical conditions, Azerbaijani soldiers and officers showed unparalleled heroism and bravery by breaking through six lines of defense, passing over more than a million landmines and destroying the enemy positions located on the hills. The memory of our dear martyrs will live in our hearts forever. We showed the whole world the strength, determination, and indomitable spirit of the Azerbaijani people. In other words, we were waiting for this day while making preparations. During these 20 years, I never doubted that this day would come and a military parade under the Azerbaijani flag would be held in the city of Konkendi. Of course, I could not talk about our plans in the interviews with numerous foreign media representatives during the 44-day war. However, the questions were practically the same. I once said that without Shushar our work would be incomplete. However, even then I knew that without Konkendi and Kojali our work would be incomplete. Three years ago, I gave an order to the Azerbaijani army to stop. And I want to say again, history has shown that it was a correct decision. However, from that day to this day, to September, we worked every day and tried to fully restore the sovereignty of Azerbaijan. On October 15, I raised the Azerbaijani flag in Agdara, Askaran, Karjavand, Karjali, and Konkendi. There can be no greater happiness than this for me, for you, for the people of Azerbaijan, and for all Azerbaijanis of the world. Four years ago, while speaking at the Konkendi Sitter Stadium, the Prime Minister of Armenia arrogantly said, Karabakh is Armenia, full stop. We showed him, and those like him, as well as those behind them, that he was on the wrong path by shedding blood on the battlefield and giving martyrs. We showed to them that Karabakh is Azerbaijan by fighting in spite of everything. And today everyone should know that no one can joke with us. If the Armenian leadership cherishes some revanchist sentiments, if the countries that are used to manipulations behind Armenia still prepare some insidious plans against Azerbaijan, let them take a look at today's parade. Let them know that more than a thousand of our brave men are lined up here. And we have more than 100,000 brave men like them. No force can threaten us. We are ready to fight on any level. We have shown this on the political and, if necessary, on the military front. In the 21st century, no army has shown as much professionalism and dedication as ours. No nation has loved its native land as much as ours and was ready to die for it. We all know this well, so let the world know it too. We don't need a new war. We have achieved what we wanted. We have restored international law. We have restored historical justice. We have restored our national dignity. And we have shown the enemy where it belongs. The enemy has knelt before us. And today I am here addressing the victorious armed forces. So, we have fulfilled all the tasks. But at the same time, from now on, the army building will be one of the priority issues for us. Let everyone know this, and let no one forget it. Once again, dear servicemen, I heartily congratulate you and the entire Azerbaijani people on Victory Day. Ben bir daha aziz hərbçilər sizi və bütün Azərbaycan xalqını zəfər günü münasibəti ilə ürəkdən təbrik edirəm. Long live the armed forces of Azerbaijan. 
Karabakh is Azerbaijan.